Right, welcome to Castrum. Um, we are going to look at our field strop range and particularly with a couple of extra accessories that we're selling to go with the field strops now. This is the stropping paste, the Swedish strop paste. We have uh, three different grades. You've got the coarse, you've got a medium and a fine. And uh, these are uh, made from aluminium oxide uh, and chromium oxide. But first, a little bit about stropping. So, um, stropping is something that can be done to maintain the edge of the knife. And uh, uh, when it comes to stropping, this is something that can actually take the place of honing in a lot of situations. Uh, our strops are made with uh, the highest quality vegetable tanned leather. Uh, this leather is particularly strong. It's a um, a leather that is uh, Italian made. Uh, the entire strops are made in Europe by hand and they have a fine side and they have a coarse side which is sort of like a flesh side of the of the leather. So that allows it to ha carry more abrasive compound. Um, this particular version is the paddle strop. It's a slightly larger strop that is suitable for use at home or maybe in a base camp or something like that. So uh, that's a great larger product that's easy to use. And then we also have the field strop. This is a much more compact pocket size uh, strop, which also has the same four millimeter thick uh, leather uh, on each side. And each of these are uh, made with a, a base or a center of oak wood. Um, so the field strop is uh, compact, but it has the same functionality and I'm going to demonstrate how they're used. So just quickly, uh, a lot of our knives have scandy grinds. That's when the, the grind starts quite close to the edge and goes all the way out to the edge. Uh, typically with a zero grind, but sometimes with a small secondary bevel or micro bevel, depending on what you're going to be using it for. This particular knife here has a, a zero grind. Uh, so what you do when you sharpen a zero grind knife, there's different techniques. You can have a table stone that you're working with and you can also take the, the sharpener to the edge. I like to hold the, the sharpener in one hand and then uh, the knife in the other and move the, the, the knife when I'm actually sharpening. So I'm putting the entire flat surface onto the, the sharpener and then moving the knife as I go along. This is a great technique, in my opinion, to keep maintain control and to work with something like a small field sharpener like this. Now, when you go through the motions and, and sharpen the knife, um, uh, you go all the way along the edge, it's gonna create a certain amount of burr. And one effective way to remove the burr can be to just lightly increase the angle and pull a couple of strokes uh, just to remove the burr and uh, that can uh, that can give you a nice fine edge but it's never really going to make such a, a, a good enough edge to to um, give it sort of hair popping sharpness and um, for that you really need to polish the edge and that is when the field strops or the paddle strops come into handy and you can really get that super super sharpness so uh, just to demonstrate the the way that uh, the stropping is done for a scandy grind knife, you place the entire surface down on the strop and you can maybe put a slightly bigger angle on there. You can put it down and then slightly increase the angle, but really be careful not to increase the angle too much because you're going to be removing a lot of the sharpness. So you just want the same as the bevel, the main uh, grind of the knife, you just let that rest or just ever so slightly above. And then you're pulling and as you're pulling, you're also allowing the whole knife edge to touch the surface and then you're doing exactly the same uh, thing on the other side so you're you're allowing the, the edge to slide across the surface starting on the coarse side and once you've got this uh, motion in your muscle memory you can of course increase the speed and uh, once you've done this a couple of hundred times you can go really fast and, and this becomes like something that you can do almost automatically and, and you can do it really quickly once you use the knife. Um, 
and then once you've done about 20 strokes or so per side you can move on to the fine side and repeat exactly the same thing there some people prefer to start at the tip and then work their way to the start of the grind this is entirely up to you how you want to do it whatever you feel most comfortable with the important thing is that you maintain the correct angle and in that for that reason I find that it's easier to start by finding the angle of the knife finding an entire bevel putting that flat on the surface and then just pulling or ever slightly increasing from that and then pulling from there I find that that's that's the best way to maintain a correct angle Another way to do this if you are used to using a table stone like a whetstone or something like that Japanese whetstone and you're used to to manually working on a on a stone that is flat on the ground uh, or flat on a the table then um, placing your strop on the table in the same fashion is one way of, of uh, making it easier for you to learn the correct movements so all you're really doing is putting it flat down and you can then use both of your hands to to work with the with the strop and this is really just as easy once you know the correct pattern of movement and it's the same with the with the large one that's an even easier um, strop to use on a, on a on a larger surface just make sure that you've got flat surface that that holds the the strop in place and that it's all even and and simple to use so. um, just to show you a little bit about how the stropping compound is used um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this um, sharpener this has been loaded already this has a um, I'll show you this uh, this is our uh, coarse compound which is applied on the, the coarse side and um, we've got our green chromium oxide compound which is the fine compound which I will apply to the to the fine side of this um, strop and uh, I'm also gonna just show you how to sharpen a flat grind knife this is our uh, new field dresser which is a, a, an innovative new hunting knife it's got a full flat grind with a secondary bevel and uh, with these knives what you do is you you try again to find the correct angle of the knife in this situation you don't really need to increase the, the angle in re relation to what the grind is so what you're trying to do here is is to just follow the the angle of the of the edge and you're pulling through And you're doing exactly the same as we did with the with the Scandi grind knife. And so, uh, when you finished on the coarse side, uh, you turn it around, and you're doing exactly the same thing on the fine side. Now, with the full flat grind, you don't have to be as careful to um, keep a uh, higher angle you can you can keep a fairly low angle because the 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 pressure point is much smaller and you're going to be able to sink down a little bit into the leather and therefore you don't have to find the exact angle just be careful not to keep a too extreme an angle so keep it at about 15 degrees that's that's suitable 15 to 20 degrees is typically suitable suitable for most full flat grind and hollow grind knives but it's exactly the same process where you just go through the motions and uh, the same thing with the with the scan the grind And um, once you've done that, you can usually see with your bare, with your eyes that the edge is much, much more polished, and um, you can definitely feel it. So, 
and there's um, it's very beneficial to use the strop uh, immediately after use so that you maintain the sharpness of the edge at all times you don't have to take it to a, to a sharpener or a honing stone all the time if you maintain your edge with a with a strop so that's a great way of, of just keeping your, your edges really sharp and the same same thing with the the full fat grind you can you can really see that the, the edge is, is much more polished when you've used the strop so a great way to to keep the knives more um, maintained and prolong the life of them if you find that you're uh, overloading the uh, strop with compound or over time when it builds up it um, starts to feel a little bit ineffective and you feel that you want to clean it off again that's no problem all you do is you take the sharp part of the knife the, the sharp part of the spine and just scrape off the material so you can you can easily remove the the strop and compound like that and just reveal a completely new fresh surface that you can work with again and reapply new fresh compound so no problem to just just uh, clean it off you can also use um, any any relatively sharp uh, edge just to scrape that off so uh, that's it really what I wanted to show you today it's the stropping uh, process the fact that we've got these great new stropping pastes that you can buy uh, check out also our other uh, um, product care uh, products like the Lapland leather wax which is great for leather and um, follow us on YouTube for more tips on uh, how to maintain your knives. Thank you very much.